All right, guys, I'm just getting out of the eight hour a day job, getting away from the grind. Got a half day today. We are heading out to Bunyan. Heading home, Deb's got the truck all packed up. And uh, we are ready to go. Well, that's it, guys. Finally hitting the road to Bunyan. I just got home from work a little bit ago, grabbed a quick meal, an early lunch, so we don't have to stop on the way out because we want to try to drive straight through six six hours guys six hours <laughs> it's gonna be a trip i heard already heard from joe main down at uh, industrial cutting tools he's gonna be there a bunch of other guys Hey, guess what guys we're back in the truck again <laughs> we're heading out to the uh we're gonna go find the local walmart um i gotta have my tim hortons coffee and they don't have a keurig here and i brought keurig k-cups with me for uh travel purposes and uh we need a keurig to run it through so we're gonna run out to walmart grab we'll a keurig and we're gonna go find something to eat we'll let you know where we're gonna stop and uh invite you for dinner All right, Deb has chosen the red one. You want red or burgundy, or yeah. No, that's good. Red's good. Red's a good color. Chuck, what do you have there? <laughs> it was like two minutes. Not even that. It's like not right across that. the street. It's not Where even that. It's over there. Arby's, there it is. Yep. Right across the street. All right. The spoiled girl over here got her Arby's. <laughs> Chocolate shakes, yes, we're eating in the car. The dining room's closed and I'm hungry. We're just gonna eat here. Well, we're hungry, actually, so. What else you got? Fries and roast beef, right? Yep. What do you got? Fries. I call bag fries. Yes. <laughs> That's anything that drops in the bag is mine. So, <laughs> hopefully there's plenty of them in there. We'll see. All right, guys, we're just gonna get to eating. We are both hungry. All right, guys, back at the hotel. Dinner was good. It hit the, definitely hit the spot. Uh, we're gonna go, I guess, hang out here and see who else is around. We made contact with Andrew Easton, uh, but we just finished eating and he was heading out to dinner. So we'll just catch up with him at the at the show. Ready to head over to the uh, fairgrounds to check out the Paul Bunyan show. See you over at the fairgrounds. Here you go, guys. Walking down into the fairgrounds. As we got out of our car, some guys asked, Hey, you guys get tickets yet? I said, No. And they said, We got two extra. 
So uh, we got tickets covered for today. That Yay. was that was very, very nice of those guys. Um, have no idea who they were, but uh, hey, two days coming in, we're good. <laughs> I'm just excited to see you guys. How's it going? Good, Chuck. How was the trip? My trip was fantastic. We, we, we had a little bit of traffic coming down, but we made it all in one day, so it was all right. How was yours? Fine, six hours almost on the dot, and uh, one stop for cab. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'd like to, I wanted to see... Well, this is too long. This 24D has a quick cycle time. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I'll buy it up for you. I can give you something. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. I had to see it first. Deb. Deb? Are you going to spell it right? No. How are you guys doing? You run a mill, right? Doing well, you bet. Yeah. Yeah, Woodmiser Band Sawmill, yeah. Iron and Oak Sawmill, yes, sir. D-E-B? D-E-B, yep. Okay. All righty. Now, where'd you get this antique? So I, bought it, I bought it in an auction. <laughs> Your license Hello. plate, I wasn't going to say you want. How you doing? Good. Good. I will put this up on so where we can see it on the, on the back wall there. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, you can get a look at it. Uh, yeah, you guys are, we've been watching you guys for a while. Yeah, yeah we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Hey, okay, we're all in this together. Uh, yeah. YouTube's Absolutely. a big family. Yeah, it is. Support each other. Look who's here! Hey, how's it going guys? Chuck and Deb from Iron and Oak Sawmill, and you do talk, so... Okay. And do you like working in the wood yard? Absolutely, it's the best job I've ever had. Right? Sure. That's what I thought you were going to say. I bet it is. Nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. 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 Iron and Oak Sawmill. Iron and Oak. Okay, cool. We'll follow you as well. I watch you. I watch both of you. Oh, oh yeah, I'll watch you then. <laughs> ben. 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 I'm glad you're here. Glad to meet you. Be kind to everybody. 
start being kind to this. Should I start being kind now? Yeah. I think you got that okay. I'm going to try and be kinder. Because <laughs> of you. You told me to do it, so I'm going to do it. Thank you. But i got to start learning how to sharpen chains like you do. Yes, you do. Well, not like me. You're like you. You like need you? to learn. But you need, yeah, it's all in the file, isn't it? I, I've, I've got to get the hand filing down better. What have you been doing? Just the grinders. Yeah, the little round little grinder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the square grind though. I like I like what you're doing there, the square filing. Yeah, the square square filing. Uh, it's a good thing, but I mean you got to be clean. It, it's, yeah. You got to have clean clean wood. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just tell people round files get get really good at round filing because yeah. what round filing does is it introduces you and without the guide sometimes no, no guide. guide. Yep. What round filing teaches you is, is what every little tweak does yeah. to the top plate. Yeah. So it teaches you if you go up a bit you're gonna get concave or yep. you know what I mean? So that's why I'm having trouble getting there get holding that holding that position on the file. More filing. On or, yeah. More Just filing. keep filing and you'll get it. Yeah you will. Alright. You want to get a picture or something like that? Or? You want a picture? You just, here, you want to snap Oh, she's the videoing. You don't need she's no video. No, no, no. Oh, she'll be all right. <laughs> I am videoing. All right, Buck, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I love thank the you. channel. Oh, thank you so much. Here, I'm thank glad you. we caught up to you. Thank you. Yes, love your channel. Thank you, darling. Nice, nice of you to come. Thank you. Take care. Bye, guys. Hi, <laughs> Buck. What size shirt do you take? I, I like to wear. I, I like wearing extra large because I, I just like my, my size. It's you got to be loose. It's got to yeah, be loose. Yeah. Oh, thanks, you guys. Oh, this is from your channel. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. It's not a problem. Not a problem oh, at all. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks again. You can't, can't have enough t-shirts. No, have enough. it's true. <laughs> I can't. You know, I can't guarantee the sleeves are going to be there that long. No, I'm going to say it's, it's got the <laughs> sleeves on it, brother. You're going to have to take them off. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. You're quite welcome. I'm excited to get into this and and, uh, and tune it a bit, eh? So that's a 266 with a, with a 72 top on it. But if anybody else has been following the channel, this thing is, uh, well, it's a 372. It's a 371 is what it is. The bottom end is one of those, it's a K, which is a concrete saw. So with Iron Horse, the guy who builds my power saws for me, one of the guys, he took a, a cylinder from a 390 and uh, he did a bunch of crazy stuff to the crank and and he, and he basically took a, a big head and threw it on a, on a carcass a smaller carcass oh, okay. so this this carcass this saw has been my my sword for all these years this has been the one that's why i see if there's any fuel in this thing. there's just enough so that we can all smile <laughs> <laughs> right So I can shut the choke, you hear it pop. So the program, it's a ported saw, it's not, this is a stock machine. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just learning this saw. So it popped, but it just popped. It wasn't a real strong pop where you shut it off full throttle in your way. My inclination right now is probably half choke and, and pull it again as we went through this yesterday. This thing that, that sucker cuts that's got a lot of power i'm excited to, to put that in the wood so but i'm gonna go for a stroll we have no plan i, I uh thank you all for coming I, I we didn't know if i was gonna make it across the border to be honest with you <laughs> if anybody we did yep. I, I i i ramped up coming here about that was a few months ago nick i i had talked about it. i have an event called bucket stock we do every we tried it we've done it twice and then as everybody knows, the world kind of had a hiccup. And uh, I started pumping up coming here to meet all my friends. And uh, and then I backed off because I, I thought to myself, you know, what am I doing? I'm not even allowed to travel. <laughs> and I'm saying, I'm, you know what I mean? So I, yep. I kind of pulled back a bit. Then a month or two went by and I said, forget it. I'm going. 
I'm just going to go to the border and, and I'm going to see what happens. So I, I jumped on a ferry boat from Vancouver Island, came, uh, got my buddy to pick me up, Doug the welder. He picked me up, dropped me off at the border, and I just strolled through with a backpack. Just, I just, I said, I want to go to the States. What's the deal? I sat there for 45 minutes, a couple of young guys at the, you know, at the board of the desk guys. Yep. And uh, I, of course, I told them about the channel. I sat there for 40 minutes. What I think they did really, and I'm smart of them to do so, is they probably went and watched my channel in the back room, right? <laughs> who, who, who are we letting in? So they just said, William, and I came up there and then stamp, off you go. There you go. So that was not that many days ago, so I couldn't. I couldn't put my team to work. I couldn't say, let's get 5,000 shirts. Let's get this, let's get that. We literally just got set up this morning. We made it here, and uh, just gratitude, that's it. That's all I got for all is. And I, I just appreciate you coming, and uh, I, I'm here to go around here, so I'm gonna take the blast, whip around, all right. but we'll be here all week. <laughs> All right, we are running into all kinds of folks just chatting with everybody. Hey, if anybody wants to buy me one of these, I'll take that, all right? <laughs> I know uh, Skidder Kev's waiting on delivery on a 97. Lucky man. Here's the one that Sam's got. You see why we had to go up and mill for him because just this does not have the length he needed to mill those beams. LT15, this is where we started, guys. LT15 start. This is two bed sections and the mill head. These are nice, real nice beginner mills and uh, they will not let you down. Uh, LT35, well, we know what this looks like. We've run, a, we've run one of those a few times. LT40 wide. That would be the nice one to have. I don't know. Deb does not want me to have this command control center because she says I'll get you lazy standing still out here. But I'll just let her stand still and I'll run it. <laughs> but that's what I'm looking forward to, 34 inch cut width. I mean, you can get wider mills, but I think this will make a huge difference. So will that diesel engine up there too. <laughs> well, I get a chance. How you doing hey, now? Hey, I'll tell you what. <laughs> we should have a camera person. Yeah, right here. yeah, I do, I do. It's, it's been, I'll tell you, it's crazy. I've been working, everybody's pulling us over. Hey, how you doing? I'm talking to us, I watch your channels. It's it's very busy. Yo, yes, it does. I don't mind at all, but it's, it's like we, got, we came down here and then we shot up there. We're talking to a few other guys, a bunch of Billy Ray, a bunch of guys, other guys on YouTube. It's just folks stopping us on the way through. I was like, I gotta get down to see Nate. Johnny comes through. I'll let this man go. That's a good thing. He needs some time to himself. Right? Take care. Appreciate it. Bye, Nate. Good day, okay? Day one, Paul Bunyan. We are having a blast, guys. Uh, can't hook. Short one for the operator side of the mill. It's a little chilly out here today, guys. The clouds blew over. Uh, 
and it's cool for an October day, that's for sure, but an extra coat, knit hat or a toque, as they call them up there with their Canadian neighbors. Keeps your head warm and uh, you're in good shape. But uh, where's our car? We gotta go find a car. Yeah, we gotta find the car. We'll be back. Well guys, day one of at the actual Bunyan show is in. We're headed back to the hotel. We've got a live stream to do with uh, Dan over at Back 40. And I'll be hanging out there with a lot of fellow woodhounds and a lot of fellow sawmill folks. And uh, I think it's gonna be a good time. Uh, look at this rabble that's gathering out here. <laughs> In case you don't know, if you've never seen this gentleman here, Bill Irwin, coming out to visit us here as well. You chatting him up then? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. I'm just going to walk around real quick. I'm not going to talk to anybody in particular, I'm just going to film everybody. John from Jake Frickin' Jeep. Brad, Byron the first, hanging out. How you doing, John? Everybody's no Kenny. Chris, I'm in the wood yard. That's Kenny as well. We got the, the wood hound himself up here getting it ready to get the live stream rolling. And I'm starting to, I gotta recognize a lot of these other things. We got shogs going on. We got uh, Ranch, DIY. We got Dick. They've got firewood. Watch your faces. I'm trying to learn everybody here. I don't run in Chris, I'm in the wood yard. Got the beaver hat on. Nice. It's a heck of a gathering here, guys. If you are not here, try to make it next year. This is this is a lot of fun. <laughs> that is warm. That thing is hot. Oh yeah. I don't know what it is. I got a belt for it. Oh my god. Chris from in the wood yard has got his beaver hats, beaver stoles, beaver pelts out. These are real, these are the real deal and they are they are warm. Well, everybody, that brings a very fun ending to day one at Paul Bunyan. Uh, stay tuned for more footage from the show and uh, a lot more people that we met there. It was an awesome time. Hey, if we did not get any footage of you and we were out shaking hands, we apologize for that. But uh, we definitely appreciate everybody that came up, said hi, tapped us on the shoulder, waved as they walked by, whatever it was. Okay? You guys make this channel possible, and we appreciate all of your support. If you have any questions about what went on here at the show, um, what we're doing here at the mill with any of the tools we're using here, please put it down in the comment section. We'd be glad to help you out. And as always, thanks everybody for stopping out, and we'll see you at our next time.